I'm standing, but he knows I love this point. So if I, I know I went over, glory to God, and I'll take it because I went over, glory to God. But I do love this point as well, glory to God. First Lady knows that too, and, and Sister Rich, she knows it too, <laughs> glory to God. All of my sisters and brothers, let's put your hands together for our very own The Shot Temple! Mm -hmm. Everybody likes Susan the song. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate her. Let's give a hand place for awesome job. We conduct the service. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated, amen. We give honor to God who's the head of our lives, amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. We honor the Holy Spirit who is God, our comfort and keeper. We honor Elder Mitchell and Lady Mitchell in their absence, amen. They're out of town. Let's cover them. Give them a cup of praise. We honor Prophet Chalk, the man of yes, God in the back, amen. We love him. We honor every leader, every saint of God in their respective place and position, amen. We honor the first lady of this house, amen. Glory to God. My lady, my wife. Amen. Amen. I appreciate her. I had to tell y'all this. I told her, I said, listen here, I said, um, I said, baby, I said, there's so much I'm dealing with. I'm right on the edge, so don't push me. I said, anything you say can set me up. I was just being real. I'm human. Come on, I'm human. I'm not God. Hallelujah. She said, she said, don't push me either. <laughs> but I thank God for what God is doing I, to see how she's coming up in the Lord. I have an announcement that I'm going to make at the end of the service. Amen. amen. Glory to God. I need your support more than ever. Amen. Glory to God. But I have a word, and I pray that it won't be long, but I, I, I have some things I want to say. Young lady, three weeks ago, some things happened. Glory to God. But God said, everything's going to be all right. Turn your face to him. Yes, everything's going to work out for you. People that you thought that you could trust, you can't trust. That's right. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not by yourself. Glory I'm going to tell you this. Just because I'm walking alone don't mean I'm alone. Come on, Pastor. Because I know that God is with me. He keeps me. Glory yes, to God. Glory. And so many times you'll shout by. You can Glory. depend on the people yes, around you. They can let you down yes, the most. Yes, and so you have to trust God. Anybody have to trust Come God? On. Because you put people in a place where God only was supposed to be. And you found yourself discombobulated. Yeah. Hallelujah. You was all messed up and distraught. Yeah. Hurt and offended. Yeah. And you was harping seeds of bitterness. And you had to say, Lord, forgive me. Take this from me. Yeah. People will mess you up if you let them. Yeah. Now, let's get back to the season. We know that this is the yeah. birth season yeah. of our Lord. And not yeah. at the particular day, but this is the day we celebrate. Yeah. The season of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus yeah. Christ. Now, it's not about the gifts up under the tree. Come on, Pastor. Come on, man. Lord, God. We're excited about getting into that bag. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. But we should be more excited about Christ getting to us. Yeah. Y'all can help in the house. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's not even our birthday and we get gifts. Yeah. Come on. You ever go to a birthday party and take a gift for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's his birthday. But the greatest gift we could give to him is ourselves. Amen. Come on, lift your hands. <coughs> he don't, he's not after your money. Right. He's after you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to go to the word of God. Matthew, the first chapter, the 23rd verse. And then we're going to jump to Matthew, the second chapter. I'm going to read about five verses and then I'm going to take the text. Don't want to hold you long. We just want to give you something to put some on your heart. Something to encourage you. Glory to God. Matthew, the Gospel of St. Matthew, the first chapter, the 23rd verse reads, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. God will give you the name of your baby. Hallelujah. Because in the name is the purpose. Hallelujah. This woman was a virgin. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about Mary. When she was a child, amen, she was coming up. She would have visitations with angels. The nuns and stuff would pass by her room and they would see her talking to somebody, but she was talking to angels. 
Glory to God. And she kept herself. Hear me. When God has purpose on your life, you keep yourself for his use. All of us have made mistakes. Glory to God. And God, tell your neighbor, God will take even your mess up and give you a message. He would take those things and turn them around and make them work together for your good. This woman had a heart for God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So importantly, hear me, we have to prepare ourselves to receive God. Hallelujah. And what's wrong is that many people, they come to church, they think in church is enough. If we don't become the church, our coming to church is all in vain. Hallelujah. Called on it says this. It said, it said, call his name Emmanuel, which meaning, hear me, being interpreted, God with us. Tell your neighbor, God is with us. God is with us. Whether you think so or not, God is everywhere. He's up not presence. Hallelujah. Everywhere at the same time. Take it. He's everywhere at the same time. Even when you can't feel God, God is there. Even when you can't see God, God is still there. Whether you mean God is happy or not, God is still there. Waiting on somebody to call on his name, and he's faithful. When you call on him, anybody ever called on the name of Jesus, and he showed up and brought you through what you was going through? Anybody ever went through some storms, glory to God, and you think that you thought they was going to take you out? But tell your neighbor, when you call on the name of Jesus, how many know that he's a storm rider? He come in the midst of the storm and carry you out. I almost shot down above your storm. No matter how it looks right now, tell your neighbor, God got you covered. Everything going to be all right. And right now, but I dare you to trust him. I dare you to call Emmanuel God with us. See, when you say God is with us, Emmanuel, you say, God, you're right here. Tell your neighbor, God is here. God is here. He's right here. Goes on to the second chapter. The Lord God of Matthew, the first verse, it said, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship. The first one I want to ask you, glory to God, what do you seek? When you come to church, what are you looking for? Are you coming to find a man? Are you coming up? Come on to hear the message. Are you coming looking for Jesus? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I didn't come to see what you got on. I came to see Jesus. I need to see anybody know that if you turn over to the Lord, he will work it out. Hallelujah. I tried him and I know him for anybody know that you know that me and the shot of a doubt that can't nobody. Do you like Jesus? Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, I know him for myself. I know him. Go on and said that they came looking for him. Maybe they were looking for him. But tell you, maybe they were looking in the wrong place. They came to a palace. Glory to God. The King Herod's palace. Looking for a king. Tell you, neighbor, they came to a place where kings and princes are born, but he wasn't there. Tell you, neighbor, said, neighbor, stop looking in the wrong place. Hallelujah. God will lead you. If you really have a heart to look for him, he will lead you and guide you to the right place. Oh, glory to God. We're wasting our time looking in all the wrong places for love. But tell you, neighbor, said, neighbor, God is love. Come on here. God can love you better than any man, better than any woman. Hallelujah. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God got you. And he just wants you to trust him. Glory to God. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Say, neighbor, say, neighbor, if you just trust God, God will bring you out what you're going through. Go on and say this. Glory to God. Jump over to the 11th verse. It said, and when they were come, Hallelujah, into the house. They saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped. And that's our father, glory to God. How many know that it's Jesus' birthday? And if it's birthday, why don't we come into the house of God, falling down, worshiping, and giving him praise? But we do caught up in the Christmas tree. Hallelujah, tell your neighbor, we so tuck on the tree, and the gifts up on the tree. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, never give praise to the gifts. Be give praise to the giver. Tell your neighbor, nobody can be God giving no matter how you try. And God told up the word, John 3 and 16, that he gave his only by God and son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, we would be all messed up. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I can't make it a second, a minute, nor a day or hour without the Lord. But I thank the Lord for saving me. Anybody glad to be saved? Anybody glad to be filled with the Holy Ghost? Anybody come on here? You ought to be glad that God woke you up this morning. Allowing you to come to church because there were some people that text me this morning and said, Pastor, I'm not gonna be able to make it to church. I gotta take my loved one to the doctor. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God is giving you another opportunity to give him praise. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, 
all the stuff you got ain't because you've been so good or you're so deserving. But tell your name, it's by the grace of Almighty God. Honey, you get about to praise God all by myself. I praise God all by myself. It's not because I got money in my pocket. I got a new job, a new house. It's because of who he is that makes me who I am. I got a right to give God praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. The second thing I want to ask you, come on here, come on here, come on here, what do you do? Hallelujah, come on here. What do you do? Come on here. What are you looking for? Because they were looking at the wrong place, but they were looking for something. But tell your neighbor, said neighbor, while they was in that place, there were some people that pointed them in the right direction. Tell your neighbor, said why? Because God knew their hearts. But heaven, come on here. He said, go find him. And when you find him, let me know. Tell your neighbor, said neighbor, you can't let the devil know what you're doing. Because everybody, come on here, not acting, not glad that you saved. Everybody not glad that you coming to church. Everybody ain't glad that you married. Everybody ain't glad that you got a new job. Everybody ain't glad that you got a new house or a new car. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, don't hang on me, hang on him. I'm not the one that's blessing me. He's the one that's blessing me. He keeps on making a way over and over and over. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, every time I turn around, God keeps making a way for me. Hallelujah. 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 Come on here. Then the third thing. I'm almost finished. What do you give? It said this in the 11th verse. It said, when they saw him, they came into the house. They fell down in worship. And then it said, and when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Come on here. Let me deal with this. The first thing they gave was gold. Gold, Timmy, is something that's worthy of a king. Tell your neighbor what is worthy of a king. You got to be careful what you give a king. You can't give a king any kind of thing. You got to give something worthy of a king. Why? They brought gold because he is the king of kings. Tell your neighbor. Jesus is the king of kings. And the second thing frankincense symbolizes. This is all that the priests use. That he was the one going to be the high priest that was sent us back to God. Can I get a witness in our house? Glory God. Then the third thing was murder. The murder is the stuff that used to come on here to prepare dead bodies. The burial. Can I help somebody? That let us know glory to God that he will come to die for us. Can I help somebody? Come on here. He was the king of kings and the lord of lords. But glory to God, he came to come on here to reconcile us back to God. But also glory to God, to give us his body. Come on here. As a dead sacrifice. Say your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm so glad that he came, he lived, and he died. But I'm telling you neighbor, he ain't over yet. Because he got up on the third day. He rose with all power. Can I help somebody in the house? I'm so glad that he got up. What will you give? Glory. We're so fascinated looking for, get this, when you're looking for people to make you happy, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited about Christmas, but the family going to get together, but let me tell you, sometimes those, those, those family gatherings can turn out to be total chaos. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to give? Come on, Pastor. The tree. Now, mm -hmm. most of the time we know that is. Normally a green tree. This is the white one. This is the dip one. <laughs> Why do you normally put up a green tree? Get this. Because evergreen, he is the tree of life. Yes, he is. And then we put lights on it because he is the light of the world. Yes. And the ornaments, get this, are us. That we, yes. Get this, when we get on the tree, when we get connected to him, we become glorified. Yes. Yes. Somebody tell you, it's a neighbor. God is trying to get us to get to a place where we get connected with him. Yeah. Uh, I'm almost done. What is it about the candy cane? Notice about the candy cane that it's red and white stripes. And it's shaped just like a hook or staff. The red symbolizes the blood. The stripes that we hear by his stripes. The staff is the shepherd. To guide us, oh God, help us. To call us back into place. Yes. My God. So many times, get this, we get caught up in the moment in loops and things because we're so busy and caught up in us instead of Him. Hear me. Don't make your testimony about you, make it about Him. Come on, that's right. Come on, Pastor. Come on, that's right. 
Come on here. Come on here. Come on. I can't do nothing in myself. Y'all can hear me. Anything that, uh, 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 Brother uh, uh, Jefferson, anything yeah. good that comes from me is because of him. Amen. Amen. Even when, get this, even when I desire him, it's him with the desire for me to want him. This time of year, they get depressed. You know why they get depressed? Because they're looking at what they ain't got. Why? Because their mind has been made in fashion into the world. See, right. you gotta buy this, you gotta do this, you gotta have this. Come on, the American dream, you gotta have a nice house, nice car, nice family. Yes. Come on. But when you get caught up in God, you can praise God with it, and you can praise God without it. I told my wife, I said, listen, I don't even want nothing for Christmas. I said, my heart's desire is to be a blessing to somebody else. Amen. I want to give to somebody else that's less fortunate. Come on that's here. Right. Why? Right. Because get this, I realize this about me. It may not be you, but the more I do for myself, the more selfish I get. Right. So the way I keep myself crucified is by giving. Amen. And get this, but get this, I let my giving be my receiving. Go on. Oh, that means I get just as much joy out of giving as I'm the one that's receiving. What are, you, what are you gonna give? When they presented the gift, get this. And God spoke to them in a dream. Hear me. When you give yourself to God, God will deal with you like never before. That's right. God is no respected person. Anybody want to come close to God? Anybody want to break beyond the surface? Yes. Well, you just come to church and just hear the preacher preach. But you want to move in the gifts of the Spirit and you want to walk and talk with God. Because get this, God talks to each and every last one of us, whether we're listening or not. And what is happening is, get this, we get frustrated wanting somebody else to talk to us. And you ever have somebody always, I want you to pray for me, I want you to pray for me, I want you to pray. When are you going to pray for yourself? The reason why they come to you because they know you can get a prayer through because they live in a, a compromising life. Y'all, uh, we don't step on somebody's toes, step on their feet, step on their ankles, step on their knees. Hear me? Because they don't want to be accountable. They don't want to do the work, but they want somebody else to do the work so they can reap the benefits. Y'all can help me in the house. God is calling to a better place now. Hear me? We're in a year of transition. Hear me. If you go in the, the new year doing the same thing Come on. you did That's what you this year, you ain't going to make it through yes, this right. year. Uh-huh. Everybody hear me? Trying times is coming up on the church. Yes, it is. Yes. And you can say, Lord, I love you. Okay, you're going to be tested. Yes, you are. The Bible said, by the words of our mouth, we justified it by the words yes, of our mouth. We condemn it. The devil will let you say, I love you, Lord. Okay, let's see how much you love him. Come, Come on here. Talk is cheap. Come on. Yes, Come on here. And the thing here, what messes us up is that we look at everybody else. Come on, uh, Instead of looking at ourselves Come and saying, Lord, help me. Be. And then when somebody do something, they, they, they're offending me. Everybody offending you that is you <coughs> sit in the fence. Yeah. They can't offend you if you ain't got no line to cross. Uh, all right. Y'all better help me in the house. All right. Come on, get off the fence. That's right. Y'all hear me? Get off the fence and you won't be offended. He says this. They go to the place. These three men, they go in agreement. That's the hardest thing for us to do. Because if it ain't your way, Mother Wesley, I don't like it. Mm. We're in the same church. Since when? Matter of fact, I don't even like your new hat. I'm just going to tell you straight up. I ain't going to talk behind your back and tell you. <laughs> to have more respect in a, in, in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Honor for me to come to me in my faith. I love you, sister. Sister Rita. Oh, look at it. She a hot mess. <laughs> come on, Pastor. That's it. That's it. Look, That's loving you instead of stabbing you in your back. Come on. That's right. Come on. Now you're talking. Come on, Pastor. That's right. That's all right. Amen. Now listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. Give me about five, ten minutes to I'm going to talk to y'all now. Whatever you got in your heart during the season, let it go. Amen. 
And you can have a family member coming around, family member, but they holding stuff and can't even speak. Mm -hmm. Come on. Or they say, hi, hi, just uh, a drop. Uh-huh. Hey, but this may be your last time seeing that. Like, That's, That's right. right. Come on. Come on. We take each other for granted. Don't wait till they get in the casket and they're crying and weeping and want to get up there. Right, I on. guarantee you that those people crying and weeping and want to get up in there, you put them in there, I bet they bust out. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that. And many times the one doing the hardest crying, they're oh, falling out with the main one that gave them hell. That's right. Yeah, just, <laughs> you gotta say it. Main one that one there. To help them and support them, or to love them, glory to God, main one that, that causes them all kind of heartache and pain. And I'm going to tell you this about preachers. People don't know, preachers cry, preachers hurt, preachers bleed. Amen. Yeah, this pastor passed, died. People cry for a moment, but they go on to the next one. His family had to suffer forever. Glory to God. Don't say you love somebody. Show them the That's right. Amen. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. They didn't come empty handed. They came with something. They give to God. That's right. That's right. Come to give. Right. Come to give him. Get this. It said, out of their treasure. Y'all. Uh, okay. The Bible said, where man's treasure is, there where his heart is. Awesome. So get this. They gave it out of the abundance of their heart. Because they said, we come to sincerely worship you. Uh-huh. And that stuff wasn't cheap. Right. You know how much an ounce of gold is right now? Almost $1,300 an ounce. Uh-huh. Bought him gold, fragrances. And you know what? I buy some of that fragrances and all. Fragrances and myrrh. Uh-huh. I know, I know. Man, it smells so good. <laughs> I, I don't mind using olive oil, but I like it. Uh huh. You ever go to one of them churches and meet somebody up there praying for you and they steady pouring it over your head, trying to get you to point? You went up there with nothing, you came back just greased down. <laughs> clothes messed up, your shirt and everything. What I'm saying, I'm saying all this, I know it's kind of candid, but I'm saying this. No matter how much oil you have poured over you, if your heart ain't right, you're not going to receive it. That's right. I want change. I want change to come into my life. I'm tired of being stagnant. I'm tired of coming to church being one way. And then, hear me. Hear me. You can put on the front in church. But hear me. Your real self is going to be outside the church at home. Amen. The real you. You ever see somebody in the Praise the Lord, sister so in the church. But when you get out of church, they, they ducking and running and, 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 and the grocery store, that's the real them. Yeah. They get around some folk, they just talk, and all of a sudden you get around other folk. <laughs> no, that, that, that's what concerns me. Because I want to be the same. She tell you, yeah, we, we what? I told her, I said, listen here, I'm, I'm sitting on the edge, baby, no. <laughs> so I'm dealing with a lot. <laughs> Hear me. All of us are going through something. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. Y'all think that, oh, pastor don't go through? Every time, we depend on pastor to give a word. But I'm telling you this. <coughs> many times before I preach or either after I preach, I'm being attacked. That's right. And you can't imagine the depth of the attack. Because get this, I'm praying for all of you. Yes. But let me ask you this. Who's sincerely praying for me? Come on, yes. come on Pastor. Because yes. some on. folks, I don't want them praying for me. Come on, man. Come on, Pastor. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Come on. I'm just being real. Amen. Say that. You ever, you ever just call somebody and then they say, I'm going to put your name in the Bible? Yeah. Like you got some kind of magic or spell the devil is alive. You put your name in there. But you don't want to need deliverance. Yeah. I think it's, it blows my mind how we play games in the church. Right. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. The devil ain't playing no games. Right. He don't care if you're the pastor. He don't care if you're the secretary. He don't care if you're the treasurer. He don't care if you're the announcing. He don't care your position. He just after your soul. That's right. Amen. That's right. You know, the greatest gift that God gave us was his only begotten son. Uh-huh. And if he 
if we are truly appreciative of the gift, won't we allow him to live in us? Have you ever went to stay with somebody? They say, you can come on and stay. Stay with me. And all of a sudden, they start acting funny. They start putting up stuff. Child, don't worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about, don't worry about paying no bills. Just save your money. And all of a sudden, they start yeah. buying food. They go out to eat themselves. Don't ever invite you. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Come on, let's be real. Y'all, right. anybody ever been done like that? I don't know, Pastor. Put it in the rooms, in the closet. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you, find, you start going up. And they go in, and you start going to the bathroom, and you, you looking down. Not, not, not looking intentionally, but you look. They go a can of sardines right here. <laughs> they did. They're hiding food all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Just so, get this so you won't eat it up. Yeah. <laughs> let, me ask, let me ask you this question. How do we think we make the Lord feel if he's supposed to live in us? Yeah. When we're supposed to get this, he don't want to just stop eating and visit. He wants to abide. He wants to dwell. He wants to be at home. wants to be at rest. wants to be at peace within us. He wants us to be, make him feel comfortable. But he, he can't stay in a filthy house. I'm going to tell you this about my wife. I, I use her as that. If I, if, I, if, I, if I lay a shirt down, the house filthy. <laughs> I'm saying, no, the house ain't filthy. I just need to pick the shirt up. And if I pick the shirt up, the house is filthy. I said, listen here. Your level of cleaner. <laughs> my, my level of cleaner are two totally different things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't live in filth. Right. She used to have a bad habit about going to bed with a dish in the sink. I said, listen here. I said, listen here. I said, tonight you're going to go to bed with a dish in the sink. Because <laughs> hear me. Many times we set ourselves up to be disappointed and aggravated because things have to be a certain way. And when those things come in here, I'm not like we won't be at all Come upset. on. Come on. Uh, can I help you? The church is not going to go like you want it. That's right, man. Everybody ain't going to treat you like you want them to treat you. But let me help you. Regardless of how you, they treat you, make sure you treat them like the Lord tells you to. Yes, Lord. Amen. Bless those that curse you. Amen. Don't curse those that curse you. Come on. I'm just I'm just gonna speak some on them. Hmm. Hmm. Listen here, everybody hear me. Let me give you this word. You know the reason why a person is always talking about folk, always being negative. Look at their life. They're not happy with nothing. Amen. Right. Say that. Because get this, negativity flows from their mouth as they talk and negative. Get this, they send a demonic attack out to other people, but they don't know that they open the door for demonic attacks on them. Thank you, Lord God. Nobody help me. Yes. They don't have no peace of mind. They get great gratification and, and, and happiness out of seeing somebody else downfall mm -hmm. to make them feel good about themselves. Right. And that's giving. Thank you, that's what the devil wants. Right. He wants us to come to church but never giving ourselves to mm -hmm. God. Right. Can I hear you? Judas was a believer. Yes, he was. He saw the miracles of God. It wasn't that he didn't believe that no, Jesus was no. the Christ, the Son of God. No. No. Get this. He intentionally betrayed Jesus because he was looking for a showdown. Yes. He was thinking that the Lord was going to bring the kingdom then. But God don't work like you want. No. And in your time. No. Yes. The Bible said it's better that this man had not even been born. Mm. Everybody hear me. It could be in any of us, but he chose not. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands. I don't ever, I don't want us to ever have a normal service no more. When Thank you, Lord. Come to church and just go casually through the motion and this and that. I want every time we come to the house of God, Lord, what are you gonna do today? What are you gonna do today? Lord, I'm looking for you to move. I can never move before in my life. But hear me, if you don't put nothing in, how can you get something out? Amen. You get tired of folk always got the hand out, but they never want to give something in return. Okay. Yeah. 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 Come on. You know how some people are? They like leeches. They ain't got no teeth, but they steady sucking your blood. Uh, yes. And it's toxic. Come on. 
You know how to get them leeches off? Come on. Hmm. Tell your neighbor, catch you on fire. <laughs> When you get real with God, people that's fake can't stay up. They can't stay around you. They can't be comfortable. Tell your neighbors and neighbor, I don't want nobody around me that ain't real. Yes. And if you see me hanging with some sinners, rest assured that I'm ministering to them. satisfied and happy. Come on. Can I tell you I'm not? Come on. Because I know there's more that he has for me. Yes. Oh, yes. Anybody want more this morning? Anybody really want more this morning? Anybody want to get out the norm? Come on here. Look, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I ain't, ain't studying today. Uh, uh, last week, yeah, we had a talk at a good time, but uh, today I need something that'll bring life change and encounter in my life. I'm tired of doing the way I used to do. Come here. I'm tired of talking like I've been talking. I need breakthrough. I need change. I want to know joy. I want to know peace. Listen, you can come and you keep. Come on. I called Sister Brenda and Sister Brenda say, Yeah, me and Mother Gloria. <laughs> they like they like to hit them highways. <laughs> Going shopping. Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you who you don't want to get together. It's Mother Gloria, Sister Mary, and Sister Brenda. <laughs> right, let, me, let, me, let me add one more. Sister Mitchell. <laughs> Go in the store all so all day long, <laughs> all day long. Look at this. They know each other. That's right. Because get this, they have the likes. They like the shop. <laughs> My wife said, uh, "Why don't you ever?" Like? Because I like to go in and come out. I don't like I don't like to stay in the store all day. I'd rather go and get what I want. Come on. Because ain't no need for me looking for something I don't want. And then, my wife said, come on in here. I said, please, let me sit down on this bench while you're going in there. I'm saying, let me go. Let, no, come on. <laughs> and then she said, look, she like, can you hold this? Can you hold this? What happened? Since we can you hold this? Can you hold this? You get tired of it? They end up like, like seven or eight things in your arms. You're talking about, I can't even see. You want me to hold something else? Mm. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there looking out at the corner of my eye like this. And she's doing like this. I'm like, not even looked up. I'm like, I feel like I'm being rushed. I said, <laughs> 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 Come on. Come on. But let me tell you, but love calls you to suffer. Amen. 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 Put on this. Sometimes we don't want to sit and chill and just watch movies. Sometimes, come on. I said, watch I said, I said, now you want to get them cleaned up. I said, you serious? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody there now. We all getting them cleaned up. I was like, look at my head. I said, look at here. You gonna clean up? You gonna do your, what you gonna do? I'm gonna sit by here. I'm tired. Can I tell you something? But I can be real with her. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's my wife. Amen. That's bone in my bone, flesh in my flesh. Come out, come out. Y'all hear me? Yes, God. We still, marriage is not perfect. Marriage no. is what you make. Come out. Y'all better help. Amen. We'll be forever learning each other. Amen. No matter how many years you get together, you still going to learn something every day. That's right. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. What do you say, Mother Glory? <laughs> 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 Let me say this. <laughs> but it's good. Because because the good days are with the bad days. <coughs> Your bad days make you appreciate the good days. Y'all right. come on. Right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What are you going to do? What are you going to give? What do you have to offer God? 
Pastor Paul said this in Romans 12 and 1. Our brother and I beseech thee by the mercy of God that you present your minds. Everybody stand. A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. God is after you. But everybody here, God is not going to make you give yourself to him. God is not going to force himself upon you. He's a gentleman. Yes. He wants you to give yourself. Because so many times we give our attention to the things of this world and we neglect God. During this holiday season, hear me. And, and we can attest this. You can, if it's you, just say, just say, ouch, Lord, help me. Because we seek so much entertainment. We seek doing things, get this to make us feel good about doing something, uh, uh, getting the right gift. When our focus should really be on about Him. Amen. Ask the Lord, what do you want me to do? When I have something come in my hand, I always ask God, Lord, what do you want me to do? I may have bills and this and that. If God tell me to sow this, I'm going to sow it. I'm going to give it. Why? Because in the simplest things of obeying God, hear me, saints of God. I seen God walk miracle after miracle after miracle. And don't get me wrong, there's times we, we all go through. We all go through. We go through things. But I'm going to tell you this. But if you be faithful to God in the little, God can trust you with much. If you can't be faithful with God with $2, how can God trust you with 200 And you know the scary part? A lot of us don't even trust our own selves. Have you ever had people that come into a lot of good, I mean, talking about good money, but then next few days you wonder what happened. They can't even tell you what happened to the money. What happened is a spirit on them that, that, that devoured. Just like a, 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 a bucket with a hole just, just, just pointing. They don't even know where the money going. Can't even tell you because there's something on their mind. Hot shot. There's something that got them. But anybody, let me tell you this. I've never seen a person that obeyed God. That God didn't bless him. I'm a witness. Joshua said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Glory God. Obedience is always better than sacrifice. And the reason why people are sacrificing more is because, get this, they're not obeying God. Because if we don't obey God in that one thing, I guarantee you there'll be seven to eight things right there that take what we would have had and more. Have you I'm not going to get my ties today because I got this coming up right here. I, I do. And then, get this, instead of trusting God to make a way, you spent that money. Yes. And then all of a sudden, something break down on your car. And you be saying, now, I got to spend out all this. If I had just paid my ties, give them, really, you don't pay your ties, you give them. Yeah, that's right. They belong to God. God, yes. God don't make that. So I, I'm, let's correct that. It's not paying your ties, it's giving your ties because God is trusting you to obey him. And, 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 and then all these things it's like a domino effect. Boom, 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 boom. He said, if I had only given my tithes, I wouldn't be in this predicament. I'm going to tell you this. There's been time when I sold a dollar, all I had, and God blessed me with a hundred. Time when I sold ten, God blessed me with a thousand. Those simple things, give me, in obedience, God wants to bless you. Everybody lift your hands. Let me say this to you, young lady. Let me say this to you. God said, fresh start. Fresh start. Don't dwell on the past. Push on. Don't be afraid to move forward. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I come against all the assignments of the enemy that has been trying to hunt you, torment your mind. Glory to God. Today is a new day for you. Glory to God. God loves you so much. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Everything that you lost, God is going to restore. Be great. Hallelujah. You're not by yourself no more. God loves you. You with people, come on here, that love you. That whole shot her. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all pray for her. Glory to God. Glory to God. I can hear you asking the question, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? God said, I've already got it laid out for you. Just trust me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's let the Lord be birthed in our lives. Let him be birthed in your life afresh. Say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Take control of my life. Grab this tearing of my mind. 
I yield myself to you. I present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you, O oh God. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Now, Lord, have your way in us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let me ask you something. Do you have your own vehicle? Because I saw it one time you had something and some things come up. But God's going to restore all that. Hear me. Hear me. You want to say? Within the next 60 days, you're going to have your own vehicle. Good job. I keep hearing the Lord say, tell her for a start. I'm starting. I'm doing the yeah, yeah. Because everything was going good, then something happened. That's derailed. Everything just fell apart. And you felt, you, know, you was in a place and you felt stuck and you felt all by yourself. But God said, tell her I'm with her even now. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 And all those pain, those years of pain and hurt her. And abuse and disrespect that you today we break it right now. We break him and I call it out right now. Oh, oh yes, Lord God. I see you getting around people, you it's like you just want to stay by yourself because you don't know who you can trust. But God is coming here, He's coming, He's opening your heart today. Go oh, shot and He's healing that pain right now. Hallelujah. 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 New life is the greatest gift that God could ever give us. Allowing Jesus Christ to be birthed in us. Tell your neighbor, I'm being born again. I'm being born again. Come on here. Listen to everybody. Hear me. People think that it's just a one-time thing about being born again. No, it's not. Let me help you. Romans 12, when the Apostle Paul said a living sacrifice, a sacrifice, living sacrifice, those two words seem like a contradiction of words, a contradiction of terms. How can something be living when a sacrifice is always there? Means it's not supposed to be a one-time thing. It's a continual thing of dying to yourself. Just when we think we got it down, God said, uh-oh. Come on, Pastor. Come on, man. Come on. Get that up. Come on. Yes. Yes. Just when we start trying to toot our nose and think we better, God said, oh, oh. Come on. Look at where I brought you from. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They never said, neighbor, I can't judge nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Only by the grace of God. Only. Oh, 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 yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Father, I thank you for touching right now. There's time when I feel the tightness of your chest because of the stress, that weight is lifting even now. Hallelujah. Off your mind, off your heart. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your peace. I thank you for your peace. Glory to God. I thank you for your peace. I thank you for healing family. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, saints of God. The power of God and the presence of God is here. Glory to God. Today is a new day. Hallelujah. Joy and peace be upon you. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, saints of God. Y'all lift your hands. I can feel God doing something. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I come against the spirit of fear of being rejected, not being loved and accepted. In Jesus' name. God said, You're mine. You're mine, and I love you. Hallelujah. Come on. You're mine, said the Lord. You're mine, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands. Anybody else that won't pray, I want you to come down. I want you to come now. Lord, I haven't done everything right, but I want to get it right today. I want you to come right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anyone? Anyone? Let me ask you something. Was anything on target? Huh? Everything? Let me tell you this. You don't 
don't know who you are in God. But today, let me tell you this. There's books in you. You are a successful businesswoman. And fear has kept you out of that place. But today, hallelujah. I see the Lord open those jail cells and you coming out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No more being down and feeling sorry for yourself. No more being depressed. I call the woman of God up in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And hear me. God said, tell her I've forgiven her of past mistakes because there's some guilt and shame that you can't. But God said, you stand. Hallelujah. Lord, what it got? Come on, saints of God. This is what it's about. This is what Christmas is about. People being born again. People being delivered. People being set free. It's not about the gift of the tree. It's about Him receiving. Come on here. Us. Us receiving Him in our hearts. Does everybody hear me? When you receive Him, get this, you become a gift. And when you become a gift, everybody hear me. A gift is not made for itself. It made to bring enjoyment and enhancement and happiness to others. Hallelujah. Oh, lift your hands. I speak healing upon the people of God right now. This is Latoya. I speak new job. 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 Come on. I'm pulling things out of the spirit today. I need you flowing with me. I'm pulling things out of the spirit today. Come on. In Jesus' name. Sister Brenda, let me say this. You the brother Abbott? I speak. How would I say this, Lord? I want to say this. Unexpected money. Coming from places that you don't even know. Let me tell you this. Two, but I see three. Yes! What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why didn't you make a move two weeks ago? On something. Huh? Am I missing you? Huh? The Lord said, why didn't you make the move? He said, I'm on you and I'm with you. I need you to step out in faith and get my legs sometimes. I haven't talked to you. I don't even know, but I know the Lord said. Come on, lift your hands. Come on, lift your hands. Brother Kendra, let me say this to you. You stay focused. You could have taken a double your pay. If you stay focused, they could have doubled your pay. Y'all, come on. Sister Sherry, get ready for promotion. Get ready for promotion. Everything is getting ready. There, there's a transition taking place. Say your but there's a transition taking place. Where I was overlooked a few months ago, God is coming back to visit me. Hallelujah. Sister so let me say this. The Lord you've been carrying God is going to release a lot of you. I see God placing a special person there to just to, to be there for you. Hallelujah. I think they already been talking about it too. Am I missing you? Hallelujah. Am I missing you? We haven't talked, have we? Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, come on, everybody, just lift your hands and worship God. God is speaking in the house. God is speaking in the house. I haven't talked to nobody in this place. I haven't talked to one person in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where's Brother Robin at? Did he make it? How was how his job going? That's what I was going to say. Because I see him moving to a better place. Because it's going to be more money than he made on the previous one he had. Better hours. Y'all put it up in the house. Y'all come on, saints of God. 
God is doing something. God is trying to speak to the people today. Hallelujah. 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 Brother Jefferson, can you come in real quick? I want to do something for you. Stay right here. What has happened? I want you to cross over this over here. You finna cross over what I'm finna say. It's prophetic. Because in three months, you gonna have your own business. Give me what you say. Stay focused. Stay focused. That's the key. Stay focused. Glory to God. Don't be distracted by nothing. Lord, leave by my shot. Hallelujah. I break every assignment of the enemy. Come on, lift your hands. Well, hear me. It's already in place for you. It's already in place for you. You're working for people when you should have been and had your business seven years ago. You know how to do everything and how to make the business and all that. Because I see the person coming to you. Hey, what do you think about this? Yeah. Man, so, 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 so. You ready? I want you to come stand right here. In the name of Jesus. Everybody that won't break through, I want you to come get behind this man right here. I want you to come stand behind this. Anybody want to break through, want to step in? We want to cross over into a new season. We want to cross into, over, come on, into, into prosperity. Come on here. Well, hear me. Help. Promotion, favor. It don't matter who you're anybody wanting, come get in line behind them. Now hear me. Don't want it just for yourself. Want it so you can be a blessing to someone else. Yes, God. God, let me, let me, let me, let me. No. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, brother. Listen, come here, come here. Yeah, let me hold your hand. I want, you, I want you to come down here with me. I want you to walk with me. Because the attacks that's been on your body, God is going to change. Yes, God. Even now, glory, God, I speak strength, be killing to your body. In the name of Jesus. And even when you go back to the doctor, the report didn't change. In the name of Jesus. Glory, God. Mama, my In Jesus' name. Touch. Y'all come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Something supernatural is happening. In the name of Jesus. Bless God right now. Touch. Hallelujah. There you go. There you go. Lord, we praise you for it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. We praise you right now. I thank you, God, for touching them right now. God, you know your strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes. Now, Father, I thank you for blessing his hands. Thank you, Jesus. Increase. Thank you, Jesus. Increase. Yes. Increase like never before. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to tell you this. Thank you, Jesus. You've so many people. And God said, I remember you. Because where you could have made a lot of money, you said, no. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because... Yeah. You have a good heart. And God said, I remember the seeds that you've sown. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Now, Lord, restore everything. It's help. And I speak increase in this house right now. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Now, you cross over. Cross over. In the new season. In the new season. Hey! God, I can feel something. Something happened right now.
is happening. Jesus, right now. Hallelujah. Everything made new right now. Come on. In Jesus' name. Right now. In Jesus' name. We praise you, God. Oh, shut up. We praise you, God. Can I tell you something? Something just shifted in the 
in the realm, spirit realm. Something you felt it too. Something just shifted. Hear me. I heard God say this. The Lord said, tell her I couldn't bless her because she was holding on to stuff. He said, but now I can bless her. In Jesus' come. And you cross over in Jesus' name. And your dad is right there. Go shut up. Y'all worship him. Don't look at me. Worship God. He's God all by himself. I love you. I pray every assignment, every generational curse off your life. Look back and tell everything you broke. All the pain. Mind. You don't know sometimes you know where they're going. But I want the devil to know that's over. Because you're here. And as you step across this, you're going to step into a new person. In the, in the name of Jesus, everything dead is right there. It's already happened, and there you go. In the name of Jesus. Why you didn't up move on that two months, two weeks ago? Because you was afraid. Thank you. God said, oh. the things you've been dreaming about. Ah. I know you feel it, but hear me. 
coming across to the fullness. In the fullness, in the fullness, that is. In the fullness, in the fullness, that is. In the fullness. In the fullness, in the fullness. Mother, no more holding back. There's things I need you, said God. Help. You got ideas? It's not about worrying about folk. You got to do what God says do. I'm open. Whatever God needs you, because you know. Now, Father, I thank you for crossing over. Hallelujah. That she will walk in a greater place with you like never before, withholding nothing. In Jesus' name. Touch right now. Hey God, come Remamosa. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hey God, Rosa. Something is happening. Something is happening. The Spirit of God is in this place. Oh, yeah. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mother, all that pain, all the pain that you've been carrying, I saw the Lord say, thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Such a joy, say such a peace. Now, higher. We take you higher as you cross over. Hallelujah. Hey! Something is happening. Something good is happening. There was something good is happening. Something good is happening. Sister Lance will come. Yes. The Lord said yes. You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. Everything that you've gone through the last four months have been a test. And hear me, said the Lord. You have passed the test. You have passed the test. Now, let me promote you, said the Lord. Let me promote you. Cross over into the newness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I know you're not accustomed to this. But hear me. You don't need to be afraid. Everything you see, this is God. This is not us. This is God. And He's real. More real than we are because we come from Him. That means that we see a physical, they're temporal. They're going to pass away. But the unseen is what's eternal, everlasting. Glory to God. Today, the nightmares. The scars, the age. Hallelujah. You have a hard time sleeping at night, and when you finally do, you go into deep sleep. But I speak healing upon you. I speak rest upon you. I speak peace upon you right now. Hallelujah. I see these angels running around you, just doing this, taking things off of you. Things that have been deep embedded for years when you was a child. Hallelujah. Now you're ready for crossover. Say, Lord, take me home. Take me over. Take me over. In Jesus' name. Come. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come. Come. In Jesus' name. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Lord. Take him higher. In Jesus' name. Right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What you feel? What you feel? Huh? What? The God's on the head. Something is just hot down here. Come on, Mother Lord. Father, I thank you. Sister South. Get over there. 
get over there and kiss you. Get over there and kiss you. Think of how you in Jesus' name. Ready? Once you step in, you step in faith. When you cross in faith, you step in a new territory in God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everybody lift your hands. Everybody lift your hands. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a new ramp opening up. There's a new ramp opening up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, Father, I thank you for your increase. I thank you for renewing Mother's strength right now. Faithful God. Take a high in you in Jesus' name. As she cross over into newness, into greater territory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. We pray to you right now. Your boat is like ever before. This is Alice. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Now, Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. For taking the high in you. In Jesus' name. Come on. Take a step. You step in faith. Every time you step, you're going deep in God. Hallelujah. There's something that's in Oh, God. Hallelujah. There you go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all come closer. Come closer. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hear me this. What was a burden is now for the becomes lesson. Because they didn't know how much they were running you and putting more and more on you. And you took it to God. And they said, We need to get you some help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, thank you for touching the body right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That as she step, God, hallelujah, cross over, she will cross over into healing. Hallelujah. Into rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Into peace. Hallelujah. Like never before. And Father, I thank you for increase. I speak increase. I speak increase. I speak increase upon us. In Jesus' name. Your time and season is here in Jesus' name. Greater faith, greater faith, greater faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'm going to say this about you. You don't say a lot, but when you say something, it's important. Now I hear the Lord say, this year you're going to speak up. You're going to speak up a whole lot more. Because there's some things that you want to see. Hey! Oh God. Some things God has been putting in your heart. Oh God. Hallelujah. You ready? Say, Lord, I surrender. Now you step in faith. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God.
Because I heard at one point he was saying, I, I don't understand how they expected me to make it with this. this. But God said, tell her I got her. He got you. Glory to God. No more worrying, no more stress. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Something is already happening. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's a fire burning in your belly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, something is happening. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let me tell you this. You've been holding on because you said, I want, I need this new, but I can't get it right now. But God said, yes, you finna get it. You finna get it. You finna get it. You finna get it. And you're not going to depend on nobody else. Oh, God. Because I can see that sometimes when you ask other people to do things, they, they feel bothered and this and that. But God said, I'm going to put you in a position where you're not going to ask them for nothing. Hallelujah. Ready for the crossover. And as you step, you step out in faith. Say, Lord, I'm walking in it right now. I'm stepping in it. Ready? In Jesus' name, go. Right there. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Don't be frustrated. Don't be frustrated. Not happening this fast. The Lord said, tell her. We thank you for transition. Everything that you've been praying for, God. Hallelujah. And I can hear you saying this. I should have, I should have gotten it. I should have held off on it. Sorry. Because what God is going to do for you is going to blow your mind. Don't second guess yourself. Just know that God is working behind the scenes. And God is saying, just give me all of you. In Jesus' name. You ready? Let's step out in faith. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to say this. I want to say this. As she was crossing over, I saw a loved one that she was praying for. Sunday sickness. God said, tell her, everything will be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. And I can see you with heavy because you see them in a condition that seems hopeless, but God is in control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't worry yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't lift your head, saints of God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't miss. You know what Sudden, jump into something. Take your time. Take your time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes I can see you like God's gonna give you a sure direction. Because you want have peace in your heart. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now all those things that you carry, the pain. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let it all go. Don't seek to get back and folk. Let it go. Let it go. You know exactly what I'm saying. Give me you. Everything else to wait. Because you hurt. Don't want them to hurt like that. Let God give me you. You forgive them. God will give it to you and God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because
be the first. All the things you've been carrying, look back. Say no more. Lord, give me you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Give me you. Y'all come, come close. Everyone come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Thank you. Don't let folk of your past disrupt what you got. Yes. <laughs> so people put it at you. Trying to get at you. It's me. It's rough. You say for us. And the young, like you've been, you understand? But don't let go. Go over to them. Jesus. Father, thank you. That you would take him high, you know, into a new season. In Jesus' name, that he would love you like never before. Now, Lord, we thank you that everything of the past has been let go today. Come on, saints of God. All things have been made brand new as he cross over and cross over in faith. In Jesus' name, he cross over in faith. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Favor God. Favor. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. How many people are yours right now? How many people are yours? Yeah, the I see you being bumped up. You have at least 30 something people on you. And I saw you getting bonuses. Y'all, look, I don't understand what God is doing, but I know God is doing something. Stay focused. Stay focused. In Jesus' name. All the disappointment, all the heartache, all the pain. Even, even the soul. Say they love you. They hurt you. Right.